You can continue to use the shield drone even after you have shields. In this example, we have a Hermes missile and a basic laser. Now, with correct play, you can block every single missile 100% guaranteed unless they get lucky and actually shoot down your drone. Um, so the time you're going to use here is to start the drone at 6 seconds uh, because then the shield will pop up at 14 seconds which is when this missile is firing. And to measure that I could use crew movement um, but it's easier to use this basic laser. This is quite a convenient weapon to measure against. Um, because every time it lights up, that's two seconds exactly. Go zero, one, two, three. That's six seconds. And I'm also going to drop my evasion here because I don't want this laser to miss, let's say it was coming from here, pass through our shield and then hit the drone. I want to reduce the chance that our drone is destroyed. Of course, I have zero evasion for this. That was the first missile, the second laser. Second missile at 28 seconds. And this is the third laser at 30 seconds. Now for the next volley, the laser is firing at 40 and the missile is firing at 42. So that's a little bit tight. Um, a good time to turn on the shield drone would be about 35 seconds. And we can use the basic laser to measure that again. One, two and a half. Let's see if I got it right. Yep, yeah, that's pretty good. Now, I won't bore you with calculating all of the remaining timings, but that's as tight as it gets. Ooh. This enemy has a basic laser and a Leto missile. Now the Leto fires first, but the basic laser is faster. And they're only separated by 0.9 seconds. It's worth knowing that in this case, the missile usually gets there first. You see it did in that example. So there's nothing fancy you need to do. Now just put the shield drone up immediately. And this can of course be extended to other situations because all missiles, uh, except the swarm missiles, which enemies don't have, travel at 35 speed. And uh, all lasers, except whole lasers, which enemies don't have, travel at speed 60. What I'm going to show you now is a double ion dodge. Uh, you might remember this enemy from the ion dodging tutorial, um, but this time we only have one shield layer available. We're going to dodge this ion with both the shield system and the drone system. Um, now a little while back we did a shield drone dodge on this weapon when it was manned. It was firing at 7.2 seconds but now it's not manned it's firing at 8 seconds so we need to add about a second to our crew movement. Uh, before they were doing 4 and a bit tiles um, so to add about a second we want them doing 6 and a bit tiles let's say. So I'll move them here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and a bit. That's six. Something around there. Moving back. Turn on shield drone. Um, the ion dodge itself is pretty easy. As in the shield version. And then we want the uh, heavy laser to hit here. Um, and then we can let this Ion Blast hit. Uh, now the tricky one is the next timing, which is where this is firing at 24 and this is firing at 26. Um, so we want the shield to pop up around about 27 seconds. Uh, so we want the drone to start about 19 seconds. So we're going to use some crew timing against this Ion Blast here, which is firing at 16. You want to measure 3 seconds or maybe just, just under, which is about 6.5 tiles. 
Uh, I can let this hit my shields, by the way. Okay, that is firing. I'll move my crew six and a half tiles. We're going to let this hit so it doesn't matter about any evasion. One, two, three, four, five, six and a half. And then for the actual shield dodge, we're going to wait until the projectile has left the screen. Okay. One of the criticisms that's often leveled at the shield drone is that it doesn't scale well into the late game. Because uh, when enemies have more weapons, there's a lot more crap flying at your ship, so the slow generating barrier of the shield drone doesn't seem that useful. Let's try to be a bit objective about this. I've deliberately designed this enemy to be awkward for a shield drone to handle because it has three fast firing weapons on different cooldowns um, and it has this big ass breach missile. Uh, they have 14 missiles by the way this ship. So we're just going to see how many missiles we can survive and how much hull we have left at the end of it. Uh, I have fully trained crew on piloting engines and shields and I've stacked the rest in shields for repairs because uh, getting hit by a breach missile in shields is really bad. I will be speed hacking this though, so it's not going to be perfect play obviously. It's just an indication. That's one missile, that's a hit. Second missile, also a hit. Missile number three. Getting a little bit unlucky here. Missile four. Missile five. It's a miss. Missile six is a miss. Missile seven is a hit. Missile eight. Oh, I was a bit slow to react there. Missile 9. Turn off the oxygen because doors are on fire. Missile 10, that's a miss. Missile 11. Okay, so we survived 11 missiles. And now we just do the same thing with a shield drone. I'm not going to do any fancy micro here at all. I just turn it on and uh, replace it if it gets destroyed. Uh, missile 1, that was a dodge. Missile 2 dodged. Missile 3 hit. Missile 4 blocked. Missile 5 hits. Missile 6. Either missile destroyed my drone, I didn't see. Missile 7 missed. So 8 missed, but would have been blocked. Missile 9 blocked. Missile 10 missed. Missile 11, I think, missed. Oh no, there it is. Yeah, missed. Missile 12 hitting us in shields quite bad. Shield drone helps us recover that. Missile 13 blocked. Missile 14 just fired and we dodged it. So we survived all the missiles and we have 15 hull left and at this point it's pretty hard for the enemy to damage us. Naturally, we can do quite a lot better if we time our shield drones correctly. If you want to take this kind of thing right to the limit, 
um, then you can actually time every single shield drone uh, optimally. Uh, which means not just trying to block the breach missile, but also trying to block the ion blast or uh, one of these weapons anyway to give yourself the best chance of taking no damage from those weapons as well. And for these rare situations where you really need to calculate a long way in advance um, or many enemy volleys, uh, it can be useful to have a tool that helps you. And that's what we have here. Uh, this is a website, I'll link to it in the description. Uh, and what we can do is just add weapons, ion blast, uh, what am I doing, heavy laser, burst 2, and breach missile. Uh, and you can see the timings on the right hand side. Now I'm going to want to see much later than this, so I'll increase the time limit. Um, and the other thing is that this ship has 14 missiles, uh, because this list will uh, stop adding missiles when it runs out of missiles. And the other thing we can do is turn on the manning bonus. Um, so you can calculate all this stuff in your head and I did actually do that the first time I tried this example, but it's really tedious. And if you want to play optimally, then you can look at all these timings. Anyway, uh, it's worth noting uh, when you scan down this list where the breach missiles are and the weapons on either side of them. So this one is a little bit tricky because the heavy laser is close behind. Uh, and it gets really tricky uh, in some of the later ones. So here, uh, there's actually nothing you can do to guarantee that you block that breach missile because it's firing at the same time as a burst laser too. Anyway, this is a tool you can use. I'm not gonna bother with this um, because I'm gonna show you a, a much simpler version that applies to this fight. What I will do just to uh, demonstrate the idea is attempt to uh, neutralize the first volley of these lesser weapons. And I'm going to do that by moving my crew, what, four tiles, which is a bit less than two seconds. One, two, three, four, yep. And then turn on the shield drone. Um, now, because this ion blast is really far forward compared to the heavy laser, um, it is actually possible that the Ion Blast hits first. This isn't guaranteed to work, in other words. Um, but you see what you're trying to do anyway. I'll drop my evasion just to make the point. Maybe laser hits. And what that means is that we have three shield barriers up for the Burst Laser 2. Um, the Ion Blast has taken down one of the shield layers, uh, but it's been replaced by a super shield layer. Uh, we can let this one run. I'm also going to be uh, watching these incoming shots to make sure that they're not coming at an angle where they could destroy my shield drone. So if this passes across, comes out here, we're safe. That one looks okay as well. This one's fine. What about that one? That should be alright. Um, so the first breach missile has fired. I'm going to drop my evasion and also turn off the shield drone. And what we're going to do is just a, a simple version of the optimal play, uh, which is to time every other shield drone uh, with the breach missiles, because breach missiles are firing at 19.8 seconds, uh, and this drone takes 18 seconds to generate two shield layers. As a result, we just need to offset it by 1.8 seconds. However, you want to leave a little bit of padding because the missiles can come in at different angles, so uh, maybe the next one actually comes in a little bit faster. Uh, and therefore, I'm going to move my human three tiles. That's about 1.4 seconds, so the shield barrier will pop up uh, at about 19.4 seconds after this breach missile hit. That uh, gives us a 0 0.4 second margin in case the next one comes in faster. Uh, so we wait for the human to move. Need to keep an eye on these as well. Pop the shield drone. Should have my evasion up there. I have to keep pausing to watch where the shots are coming in. Uh, 
there's a breach missile. Uh, this one we can actually let miss uh, if we want because the heavy laser is coming up close behind. I move my human again, one, two, three tiles. Oh, hang on, that's a bit early. What am I doing? Okay, drop my evasion. We need the heavy laser to take down the shield barrier. Put it up again. This one's pretty close. Oh, that's interesting. The burst laser is actually arriving before the breach missile. I didn't think those fired at exactly the same time. Uh, it could be because I was alt-tabbing away from the game or something. That's a bit odd. I haven't been keeping exact track of where we are in the timings. I could use that timing calculator to do that. Okay, it is a dodge though. Um, maybe this was when they were firing at the same time and they just got very slightly out of sync. If these weapons do fire at the same time, then you can expect the breach missile to arrive in between burst laser two shots. Uh, actually looks like it might shoot down our drone, that would be funny. Move the human. Uh, yeah, I should have turned it off earlier. That heavy laser's close. Okay, I think my drone's about to get shot down. Yep. Uh, so what I'm going to do, just for the purpose of demonstration, is throw up a new one. Um, obviously, you probably wouldn't have one of these. Okay, so that timing did mess us up a bit. Never mind. Turn it off. Start walking the crew. Come on. Okay. Back to normal. This one's pretty close. And again, you can see it's pretty close. The breach missile will get there before the heavy laser. Uh, I can probably let the breach missile miss here, but it doesn't matter. Now we have uh, breach missile and iron blast firing at the same time again. Um, but the breach missile should get there first. You also have the burst laser firing, it's pretty close. Ah, uh, yeah. Can't do anything about this, except try to dodge it.
Drop the evasion, turn off the drone. Missile almost takes out our drone. Remove the human. Oh, I didn't even notice they're out of missiles. So there you go. Uh, we lost four hull because we got hit by one breach missile um, as a result of the drone getting shot down. And that isn't even optimal. If I was really trying to min-max this, then I would be timing every single drone. But you can see you get most of the benefit here um, just by timing against this breach missile, which is pretty easy. If you were timing every single drone, then what you would do um, potentially is use that calculator um, and also look at when weapons are firing and use uh, different weapons to measure your timing or help measure your timing. So you can see, oh, the Burst Laser 2 is firing like nine seconds before I want the drone to pop up. So I'll use that as a measure I can use um, crew timing against that. Um, the other thing to consider uh, if you are timing every single drone is that it actually helps you um, often if your drone gets shot down because if it gets shot down early enough then you can re-establish timing with the next one that you put up uh, because you haven't lost track of where you are with all the enemy weapons. Anyway, um, I hope you found that useful or interesting or something and uh, quite impressed you got to the end of the video. Turns out shield drones are somewhat better than people think they are.